<laughs> That's literally what we were just talking about, too. Yeah, but the driver doesn't die. <laughs> He's just the passenger. That's true. <laughs> Danny and I were literally we were just talking about this. They had a meme. They were wrong, though. It was Final Destination 2, wasn't it? Or 3? What did they say? Five? Five. The yeah. yeah. It was two or three. Yeah, either way, though. <laughs> that lock's gone for your head, Hunter. <laughs> it's gonna go right through. We can give it some distance. <laughs> yeah, let's go around him. It's a better idea. Pump it, mini man. <laughs> go all the way to the other end of the campus to get a milkshake. So obviously if you guys watched the vlog yesterday, you saw that there was a crazy awesome surprise that Charles gave to me that I was like not expecting at all and I, I'm i still kind of in awe over it because I truly thought we weren't going to be able to do anything before the baby came because we're, you know, I feel like we do so much and I'm so thankful that we get to travel and do the things that we get to do. Deep down I was like really hoping we could do some type of trip or getaway before the baby but you know financially we were trying to be more responsible and making sure that you know time frame everything and he's going on tour there was just like a lot of like factors that were coming into play where it wouldn't have necessarily it, it just didn't make sense at that point but little did I know that he was just being sneaky and saying all this stuff to me and we were having these discussions and he was planning this in the background. I had been mentioning like doing an RV trip for a very, very long time. I can't believe he actually, he actually did it. He did it. I believe the award for the most interesting venue that we've ever played, I think it's like a stable. No. Are they booing us or are they <laughs> booing us? Huh? Judd? All right. What's up, Cal? Ali, did you hear about all the black hole stuff? No. It's really sucked me in. Oh, God darn it. You fell oh, for it. You stop. fell for it. You fell for it. Colin, where are we, where are we doing? We're at a rodeo. Are this we is still? our first rodeo. <laughs> you ready to go home, bud? <laughs> I hate this place. Worst <laughs> vacation ever. Legit, and I probably shouldn't even admit this, I had to go all the way back and forth because I thought I had my sunglasses somewhere else. Yep. Be honest. That's happened to some of you guys before. Or like your glasses, like where's my glasses that are on top of your head or something? It's a little overcast, but it'll pass. My mom and I are just hanging out by the pool. It's beautiful. I feel like I should be a weather forecaster. I really do. I'd be such a good weather woman. Cause I, I, I wouldn't necessarily be as like, today in St. Pete, expect a high of 87 and a low of 81 with scattered showers and mild thunderstorms. I'd be like, listen, it's real great out today. You're gonna go out, you're gonna get some sun, but it may rain, so do it quickly and make sure you're out there for a little while. And then you know what? You could do it all over again tomorrow. Because guess what? Tomorrow is gonna be rad. That's how I would do it. Brought the baby out. She loves it. I feel like she's gonna be a beach baby. That's a big thing for me is I think that she's gonna be like a beach baby and she's gonna love being outdoors. And she's gonna love music, but then watch, she's gonna be polar opposite of all of that and she's gonna be inside all the time. She's gonna hate sand and she's gonna like music, polar opposite of what I like. <laughs> I tend to relax a little bit more when Char's not here because we're so go, go, go together. We feed off of each other so well so that when he's gone, he's like, listen, I'm not gonna force you to do anything today. So just take it easy as much as you can. And then we'll we'll get back to normal when we get back. Yeah. Some uh, real, oh, there he goes. Victory. <laughs> oh, it is down. <laughs> Denied again. Some National Geographic right now, guys. Planet Earth. Are we in one of those bull shoots or whatever they are? What if my drum throne is one of those like bull riding machines? <laughs> <laughs> now that's all I can imagine. Try a good thing you didn't wear your white shoes today. Oh, oh I brought it.
I'm not really sure what to expect. Oh my, that's cow poop. What to really expect for the show. I think that's what I kind of like about like college shows is that everyone's a little bit different, but I definitely have to say, this is probably the most unique place that we ever played. It's one of those fake ones, like practice ones. Pretty crazy looking. Sir? So, cop in your field. Run one more for me. Right. Get over there. We need a drone. I'll just go over here. Hi, horse. Hi. Uh oh, what does that mean? Do you want me to leave you alone? I don't know how to read a horse. But I'm afraid you might bite me. Are you cool? Is that standing? My mom, cool? my mom used to cool? say, uh, oh if you blow in their nose, like Hi. that's their way of recognizing that you're friendly or they like get to know you. <laughs> really? Do it, Trav. She used to say it. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, like, hey. That's a real thing? It doesn't look like a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling my mom a liar? <laughs> <laughs> what does the stamping mean? There's flies. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, that she really happened flies. when Trav got around, so I didn't know what happened. There's flies around me because okay. I haven't showered. So. <laughs> That makes sense. All right, bye, Jet. Uh, bye, horse. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you guys, look at this. It's the only liquor shop in the entire area. This is this is pretty awesome. Amazing, right? I have to go inside. Yeah. I think this is the first liquor store ever. Yeah. <laughs> Trav. Trav. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized this is probably terrifying. The woman probably thinks we're gonna rob the place and just jump in. <laughs> so after spending this like late afternoon with my mom, went for like a two mile walk. I'm still trying to get all my exercise in, still trying to stay active. So important and so key for pregnancy. I can't push it enough. I know it's my first pregnancy and I know it's not plausible for everyone, heaven forbid, it is not easy for me to do it most of the days. So I'm not saying I do it every single day. I try, but more than likely it doesn't happen. But my doctor has encouraged me to stay active, so I love that my mom wanted to go for a walk today. I actually went and got a few other little things for the baby's room. I'm gonna make some cute little signs for her so I got a little thing to paint. And I got a couple other little knickknacks to put in there for storage reasons. Now that I'm home, First off, got my computer back, which was really exciting. Unfortunately, there's like a lot of weird things that happened with it. Let me see what the paperwork says. Let's read this. So there was something with the logic board. There was an audio issue. Display, so I guess the display assembly space gray, which is the top part I'm assuming, has power but no image or video. Happened. And then the I.O. board, I don't, I think that's what it is, I.O. board? There was two cables that were defective apparently. I don't know, but great thing about Charles is he makes sure that I have like warranty and Apple Care and that whole thing was replaced for free. I was terrified, terrified that I was gonna have to buy a new computer and it just wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen, would it, Luna? It wouldn't happen. Charles has put me <laughs> in charge of figuring out where we're going, which is so funny because it's very typical Charles to like not have a plan, which is great though. I love it. I love the spontaneity of that, that we don't know what we're doing necessarily and we're probably gonna wing it a little bit. He wants to know whether I wanna go to like the Keys or if I wanna go to like the Northeast. I don't think we're gonna go super, super far just because I would love, first off, I would love to go to Maine. <sighs> Love it, I would love to get up that far in the US. I don't wanna be in the car driving for like a day and a half. So I think it takes like 26 hours to get to Maine if you drove straight through. But I'm pregnant, I have to get up every couple, um, I have to stand up every couple of hours and move around. Also, we have the dogs which kinda holds us back. Plus, I don't wanna drive for 26 hours straight. Who wants to do that? Nobody does. I don't think we're gonna go that far north. Um, we're definitely considering going to like the Smoky Mountains. We're talking about doing like Tennessee. North Carolina, South Carolina, that kind of area. I don't know what we're gonna do, I'm not really sure. I just know that if we're gonna do this, we, we talked about how 
we're gonna really try and with the time that we have I think we have about seven days which is perfect is the perfect amount of time to do a trip perfect amount of time uh, but I think what we're gonna try and do is make use of that time the best that we can you know not necessarily being not necessarily driving everywhere you want to be parked and hiking and exploring or relaxing by the beach or you know s uh, swimming in the water we don't know we're not sure yet where we're gonna go but we do know we want to try and not stay on the road for too too long I gotta go find a place that we're gonna go to so I don't know I gotta say you can't judge a book by its cover like that's saying actually it's actually kind of cold right now <laughs> regret going outside it's like hitting the ground running. I forgot what it feels like to take that crap and how it like affects your body and then go on stage. But luckily, I have the guys, so they push me through. Um, and it doesn't usually hit me on stage. Crazy enough, when I get off the stage is when everything kind of just whoo, sucks. Crazy enough, when I get off the stage is when everything kind of just whoo, sucks. I just actually wanted to come outside really quick because it's actually beautiful. I mean, honestly, look at that sunset. Do you see that? That is, that was, the, that's what it was right there. It was beautiful. Very few can actually rival, you know, Florida and their sunsets and our sunsets. I should say, I'm claiming it, it's mine. The only thing that sucks now is to get out here, it took two hours, hour and 45 minutes to get out here and it's nine or 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> the, like, I think we're an hour back too, so my, my body is doing that whole thing. Luckily, it's only an hour. But that means we have another hour and a half, two hours. And then we have a flight at, I don't know, like 8 in the morning again. So it's just like, and then we have a couple more shows. So it's like another 8 a.m., another 8 a.m. So I'm trying to say, like, I'm eating. I'm trying to eat a lot of, like, fruits and vegetables and just maintain my immune system because that's the one thing I really not so much getting on stage not so much doing that it's just being on planes with people who are sick and have germs all over the world that's that's where i i kind of get a little nervous and sucks a little bit I don't know if you guys remember the artist jojo do you remember her from like the late 90s early 2000s you just played a show with her <laughs> random i think we the kings and i've played with the most random people like we did what T-Pain, we did Jason Derulo, we've done Wu-Tang, we've done, I don't even know, Ariana Grande opened up for us back in the day, Imagine Dragons opened up for us back in the day, and this T-Pain, I feel like we were on tour with T-Pain, it felt like. So I really have nothing to say, per se, I just walked in this room and I thought it was the coolest looking room, and I was just wanting to put this clip in the video, so if I ever went back and saw it, I'd be like, that was a cool room. That's it, just wanted to throw this in here, so. Consider this a random clip that makes no sense. I don't think I've done that before. Or <laughs> every single vlog ever. <laughs> All right, guys, well, as you can tell, it is it is cold now. Just wanted to say goodnight to you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It is, it's hard to get back into the swing because we haven't had really, this is kind of like a, this is essentially a little tour because it's like a five night thing or five day thing. So it's hard to get back in the swing right away. <laughs> Hopefully, tomorrow I think we might actually even have a day off, which is nice. I would have known, I probably would have gone home. I miss, I miss everyone already. <laughs> if you didn't see yesterday's video, we have huge, huge news. I'm not gonna tell you right now. You're gonna have, oh, there is a giant cricket. Wait, what is this thing? Sorry, I'm distracted. Is that a beetle? Is still, oh, it is, okay. <laughs> but yeah, there's a special, special, announcement that you have to go watch yesterday's video trust me it was a, a basically it was a surprise for Ali and nobody in the comments nobody give it away come on secret make everyone go over there <laughs> all right I'll see you guys tomorrow bye